everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some more poor man's meals. These are meals that are very inexpensive to make. Usually I will replace some ingredients. So say if there is a meat in the meal and it's a pretty expensive meat, I will switch it out for maybe a less expensive meat or like a dairy product that's expensive. I will usually just trade it out for something that's a little bit less expensive. So I'm using some of the main ingredients that I would use in my house already, but just kind of replacing things, trying to make the meal less expensive so that we can enjoy a family meal that is very very inexpensive so let me share with you some of my favorite poor man meals today To get it started, we're gonna be making these beef and pepper rice bowls. So we're going to need one onion, one red bell pepper, one yellow bell pepper, and then one orange bell pepper. Or if you want to mix that in and have some green bell peppers in there as well, that's totally fine. We're going to take this over to the stove and I am actually gonna be using some bacon grease because I love using bacon grease. It's free because we make bacon all the time. Um, so instead of using oil or butter, I'm gonna be using that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in all of my peppers, my onions, and we're actually just gonna fry that up until they're a little bit soft. You, they don't have to be completely softened because we're going to be adding some ground beef as well. So once that is a little bit softened, we're gonna go ahead and add in our ground beef. All right, and then once everything is cooked through, then I'm gonna go ahead and strain everything because there's gonna be a lot of that bacon grease and a lot of that grease from the hamburger beef. So you definitely wanna make sure to get everything strained. And then I'm gonna take a half a cup of soy sauce and put that in there. I put in one teaspoon of salt, but please don't do that. It was super salty. <laughs> Just add the pepper. I added two teaspoons of pepper. I know that kind of seems like a lot, but it was really good. I really liked the pepper blend and it wasn't like too much for my kids or anything like that. And then that's it. That is it. I made some rice. Rice was super inexpensive and very easy to do. I always make it in my instant pot and this is it. I topped it with like a little bit of like mozzarella cheese so so good my family enjoyed this i was actually surprised that my kids liked it too all right up next we have sloppy joe casserole so to a dutch oven or just like a large soup pan i'm going to add one pound of ground beef and then i'm going to go ahead and chop that up getting that nicely cooked through I'm also going to add half a cup of diced up onion, giving that another good stir. You just want to get that onion in with that ground beef and the onion's going to soak up into that ground beef grease. So that's exactly what we're wanting so that those onions get nice and softened. And it's going to add such a great flavor for our dish here. And then I'm just using a paper towel to get it all the rest of the grease up. And then I'm gonna add one can of petite diced tomatoes, or you guys can add regular diced tomatoes is fine. And then two and a half cups of chicken broth, one can of sloppy joe mix. And then I'm just going to let that cook until it comes to a simmer. Once that comes to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and add in 12 ounces of bow tie noodles. I'm just gonna stir that around so that all those noodles are um, completely submerged into that liquid. That way it's gonna cook properly. And then I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna let that cook for probably about 10 minutes until all of those noodles are nice and al dente. I'm also gonna add one can of corn and then two cups of cheddar cheese. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and give that another good stir. Once all that cheese is nice and melted through, this dish is done. Everything is cooked through properly. You have a nice and lovely poor man meal right here. And what's nice is that you don't even have to do as much cheese or you don't have to do any cheese at all. And then I just paired this with some bread just because it was very, very simple. I already had vegetables and everything in it that I needed it. Um, you can also pair this with a salad, would be delicious as well. My kids love this dish. 
Up next is chili macaroni, and this is something that I am actually going to use with pork sausage just because it's a lot cheaper. If you want to do like ground turkey, that would be delicious as well. Um, typically, I would probably do ground beef, but I'm trying to make sure that I am staying within a really good budget with this meal. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to go ahead and ground up this um, sausage, and then I will drain off any grease that um, I don't want into the meal. Sausage is usually, usually pretty greasy. So for sausage, I usually will go ahead and drain the grease. Now that everything's cooked through, I'm gonna use one packet of chili seasoning mix, or you can do like homemade. Um, I, a lot of the time I do it that way, but I had this on hand um, that I wanted to use up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my dish, give that a really good stir, getting that combined with the sausage properly. Next, I'm going to be using half of this can of tomato paste. So I just need about two ounces of tomato paste. And then I'm gonna use this whole can of, basically it's Rotel, it's green chilies and um, tomatoes. And then I need two cups of water, giving that a really good stir. Um, just wanna make sure that that tomato paste gets combined with the water and um, that it's not like super, that tomato base isn't chunky or anything like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and let that cook just until it comes to a slight boil. Then I'm gonna add one and a half cups of elbow macaroni, giving that another good stir. And of course, I just wanna get it submerged so that it will cook properly. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and let that cook for probably about another 10 minutes just until those noodles are nice and al dente. And then I'm gonna add two cups of cheese, some cheddar cheese or some char sharp cheddar cheese would be delicious as well, giving that a really good stir. And you guys, this dinner is done. It's ready to go. If you wanna make this meal stretch even further, you can half the sausage with the noodles and the water and all of that or you could just double up on the noodles and just add a little bit more liquid because it was quite a bit of sausage um, to elbow macaroni noodles like the ratio there so that's what I would do and then we just had um, we just put it with some sour cream on top and it was a very very delicious meal this is something that I have made before, but it was oh so delicious, so I wanted to show it to you guys again. Um, this is called Poor Man Husband Casserole. So I'm gonna start off by using one pound of sausage. I really enjoy using sausage just because it adds so much flavor. The breakfast sausage is so flavorful, and it's a lot cheaper, and it's even cheaper than like ground turkey. And then I'm gonna get started on some noodles. I am boiling up 10 ounces of like the, the wide egg noodles. Once my sausage is done cooking, I'm gonna grab a paper towel and just get all the excess grease off of it. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and then one teaspoon of some minced up garlic. I'm gonna give that a good stir, getting that flavor mixed in with that sausage. And then we're gonna add two cans of tomato sauce. I know that kind of seems like a lot, but it really works. This meal is absolutely delicious. I love this meal. So we're gonna add the two cans and then giving that a good stir, getting that well combined in with the sausage and spices. And then also I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sugar. All right, and then I'm also going to add one cup of sour cream. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it here because um, I'm trying to use the rest of this sour cream that's in this container. And then I'm also going to give that another good stir. Now 
Now that my egg noodles are done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my pan. And then I'm going to make sure that that is getting well combined. So that might take you just a little bit, especially me since I have this um, medium sized pan and it is almost to the overfill line. <laughs> so once that is well combined, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a nine by 13 dish. And then I'm just gonna smooth it out. And then I'm actually just gonna top this with a little bit of cheddar cheese. You guys do not have to do this. Um, I just thought it was really, really good. But for a poor man meal, of course, we do not have to add all the cheeses because that's gonna cut into our budget quite a bit. But I had some in my fridge, so I'm gonna go ahead and top it. And then I cooked this in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Look at how delicious this is so so good i loved it was so creamy i just loved all the flavors of this dish now we're going to be making a ramen noodle stir fry which is something that i have recently made and i absolutely loved it so i wanted to share it with you guys again because this definitely qualifies as a poor man meal so i'm going to boil up four things of ramen noodles and then i'm gonna drain off any excess water bring my soup pan back and we're going to add just a little bit of sesame oil just about a tablespoon I chopped up two chicken breasts and so now I'm just adding that to the bottom of my pan. I'm just going to let that cook until it's nice and cooked through. And then I have this deluxe stir fry vegetables that I got from Walmart. I absolutely love this type. I use it all the time for whenever I'm making like any type of stir fry. Um, this is just my favorite go-to one to use. So I'm going to add about a cup and a half of vegetables to my pan. I'm going to let that soften up for just a couple minutes. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of garlic. A fourth of a cup of soy sauce and about four tablespoons of stir fry sauce, which is something that I just recently bought and I actually really do like it, especially for like stir fry um, meals. It's just really good, it has really good flavor to it. I'm gonna give that a really good stir, getting all those sauces combined properly. I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of rice vinegar, also just a teaspoon of the sriracha sauce. It, Calls for more, but I just did not want to risk it because I'm trying to feed my kids here and they are kind of pansies when it comes to um, the spiciness. I have one kid that likes spicy and the other three are just not so much into it, which I'm not so much into it either. So I do not blame them what a bit. And then I'm going to add our uh, ramen noodles right back into our pan, giving that another good stir. It does take a couple minutes to get all those stirred up properly. But once this is done, you guys are going to love it. It is so flavorful, so delicious. And even if you want to add like some chili flakes, if you like the spiciness, that would be really good as well. This is what it looks like. So, so good. You guys will love this poor man meal. I'm telling you guys, you have to try this one. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy this content, give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing below. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.